Hi, this is Jason Donaldson, VP of Marketing with Spider. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Spider Pilot with Eyes. This pilot has many improvements over previous models, including a reduced overall profile, measuring 25% lighter and 15% shorter. This pilot has built-in eyes to prevent paintball chopping, and comes standard with a leap circuit board developed by Tadao Technologies, with a rear-facing color access mode display showing you which mode you are in, along with the eye status and battery status of the marker. There are two color options available, including a fine matte black and fine matte red finish. This pilot is compatible with a premium 9-volt alkaline battery, such as an Energizer E2 or Duracell Ultra, or a Spider 9.6-volt rechargeable battery to achieve optimum performance. Okay, let's go ahead and open the box. Inside you're going to find your product manual. Hang on to this. You pull the receiver out here. Your barrel. Let's go ahead and attach our barrel. Also included in the box is a spare parts kit. Hang on to this. You have extra cup seals, extra O-rings, and tools to work on your marker within this kit. We have a straight elbow for your pilot marker. And last, we have included a barrel blocking device. We're going to teach you how to insert a battery. Let's get started by inserting a battery into the marker. You're going to want to use the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench that's included in your spare parts kit to remove one side of the grip panel. Remove the side that is facing up when you remove the marker from the box. This is also the side that has the Spider Pilot logo on it. There's three Allen screws. You're going to want to go ahead and remove all three of them. Okay, once your three screws are removed, go ahead and take the grip panel off. You're going to find your battery attachment. Take your battery. We're using a Spider 9.6 volt rechargeable battery for this demonstration. You can also use an Energizer E2, uh, Duracell Ultra, or some other kind of industrial strength 9 volt battery should work just fine. So we attached our battery. Let's go ahead and put it back into the marker. And now we can reattach our grip panel and we're done inserting our battery. To power up the marker, find the power button on the rear of the trigger frame. Push this button once and the marker will power on. Once the marker is turned on, it will start up in semi mode with the eye set to on and the safety set to on. The safe mode indicator lights up in red at the top of the display. The eye icon lights up in orange when the eye is engaged. Let's get started with operations of the Tadao Leap circuit board. There are two buttons on the back of the marker to change your settings. The power button on top is also the eye on off button. Push this button once to turn off the marker eye. The orange eye icon will turn off. Push the eye on off button again and this will engage the eye. The light will turn back on. The bottom button on the back of the marker is the mode button. This button controls all three modes of operation, which include semi, ramp PSP, and ramp millennium. This button is also used to turn safe mode on and off. Press this button once to turn safe mode off. You'll notice the red safe indicator will turn off and the marker is ready to fire. Push this button again and the safe mode indicator will turn back on. Alright, let's go ahead and change the different firing modes. To do this, press and hold the mode button for 3 seconds. The mode that you are currently in will start to flash. You are now ready to select your firing mode. Push the mode button once to cycle to the next mode. You'll now notice that the ramp P is lit up. This stands for Ramp PSP Mode. Let's go ahead and click the M again. You'll now notice that Ramp M is lit up. This stands for Ramp Millennium Mode. We're going to select the Mode button one more time. This takes us back to Semi Mode. To lock it into any one of these modes, click and hold the Mode button for three seconds. You'll notice that the mode you are in, the light stops flashing. This now means we are ready to fire our marker in Semi Mode. To power down the marker, you push and hold the power button for three seconds. All the lights will turn off. Your marker is now powered down. And that is how to work the Leap Circuit Board by Tadao Technologies on the Pilot with Eyes marker. We're going to show you how to adjust the settings for your magnetic resistance saber trigger. The screw furthest away from the trigger controls the magnetic strength. Screw this in and it will increase the magnetic resistance of your trigger. Screw this out to decrease the magnetic resistance of your trigger. This will actually create a lighter trigger pull. The middle screw adjustment sets the trigger distance from the electronic switch. Go ahead and screw this in and it will bring the trigger closer 
creating a shorter trigger pull, closer to the marker that is. Screw this out to pull the trigger further away from the electronic switch. And the last screw is the one right next to the trigger. This uh, screw controls the post travel of the trigger. Go ahead and tighten this and it will shorten the back travel of the trigger after it has set off the electronic switch. Next we're going to show you how to adjust the velocity on your Spider Pilot with eyes marker. You're going to need the 3 mm Allen key provided in your spare parts kit. The velocity adjustment is on the back of the marker next to the rear plug. You're going to take that 3 mm Allen key, screw it clockwise to increase the velocity of your marker, screw it counterclockwise, this will decrease the velocity of your paintball marker. Okay, now we're going to show you how to remove the bolt from your uh, Spider Pilot with Eyes marker. Sometimes you want to remove your bolt if you break paint and you want to get inside and uh, clean the marker with a squeegee. So what you're going to want to do, take your marker, go ahead and pull up on the top caulking knob. This will release your Delrin bolt from your striker. Now you can remove the bolt from the back of the marker. You can get in there to clean your marker now. Also you're going to want to remove this bolt if you want to take the internals out from your marker. Now we're going to show you how to remove the internals from your Spider Pilot with eyes marker. Take the box wrench located in your spare parts kit. You're going to remove the rear plug from the back of your marker. You'll notice after you unscrew the plug, out will come the spring, the striker buffer, and your striker. Now all the internal parts have been removed. You can oil the striker if you need to, or change the O-ring. Okay, let's go ahead and insert the internals back into our marker. First off, make sure there are no paintballs in your marker. Also make sure you're not hooked up to any type of air source. You're going to want to power on the marker before we get started. Put the marker in semi-auto mode. You're going to want to turn the eye off. Also take it out of safe mode. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our striker. Now you're going to want to make sure the O-ring on the striker goes in first. There's also a hole on the top of your striker. Make sure that hole is facing upward. We're going to apply pressure on the striker. At the same time, you're going to pull on the trigger, fire the marker. That's going to slide it into the first position. We're going to pull on the trigger again while applying pressure to the striker. That's going to push it to its final destination in the uncocked position. Now we're going to take the striker buffer, reinsert that into the back of the marker. Next, you're going to follow that up with your spring. And finally, you're going to reattach your rear plug and your spring guide. Let's go ahead and tighten that. Take the box wrench and make, sh make sure you uh, securely tighten the rear plug. Now your internals have been properly reinserted into your marker. Now we can reattach our Delrin bolt. We're going to slide that into the marker, get it to the position where it lines up over top, top of the striker, Push down on the top caulking knob, it's going to reattach to the striker. And that's an in-depth look at the Spider Pilot with Eyes. I'm Jason Donaldson. I'm Scott Henning. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.